Hello friends, we know you've been taking great care of your tomato crops, but caring for them during the fruiting stage especially could be quite intimidating. This is because it is during this stage they are more susceptible to pests. So what kind of pests are these and how can we control them? In this video, we'll talk about all the pests that can attack your tomato crop during the fruiting stage so that you are well prepared to keep them away from your tomato plants. First up, we have thrips. When growing tomatoes, it is very important to watch out for thrips. These tiny pests are especially bothersome during the fruiting stage as they feed on your tomatoes. Apart from feeding on the foliage and fruits, they can also spread viral diseases, further harming your tomato plant. To get rid of thrips, you can use a foliar spray of 1 gram of Actara mixed in 1 litre of water. You can also use 0.5 grams of Oshin mixed in 1 litre water or Polis insecticides 0.5 grams mixed in 1 litre water. Another pest to watch out for are red spider mites. These mites feed on the lower surface of the leaf, that is, they suck the sap from the leaves. The area or the region where these mites suck the sap turn reddish brown or bronzy in nature. In cases of severe infestations, these leave larvae silken webbings on the flowers, leaves and fruits, further affecting the development of fruits and flowers. The infested leaves, flowers and fruits can wither and dry. To get rid of red spider mites, we suggest using Borneo at a rate of 0.3 ml per litre water. You can also use 0.5 ml of Oberon in 1 litre of water or Kunoichi 0.5 ml in 1 litre of water. Next on our list are serpentine leaf miners. These, as the name suggests, leave serpentine appearance on the leaves. These mined leaves later curl, dry and drop. The yellowish-brown maggots of the miners can mine into the leaves and pupate inside the mines. To control serpentine leaf miners, use 1 ml of Alika or Volium Flexi insecticide mixed in a litre of water. Next, we have Tuta absoluta or tomato pinworms that live in the apical or terminal buds, leaves, stem and flowers of the tomato plant. These bugs lay eggs on the undersurface of the leaves. Tota absoluta damages the leaves by mining between the lower and upper surfaces of the leaves which creates clear white patches that are often partially filled with frost. The larvae of Tota absoluta can also damage the stem by boring into it and leaving frost at the stem nodes. To control Tota absoluta or pinworm, use 0.5 ml of Vajajo in 1 litre of water or 25 ml of Exponus per acre. You can also use 0.3 ml of Coragin in 1 litre of water. Next, we have Tomato Gram Pod Borer. The larvae of the fruit feeds on the leaves and attacks the fruits, causing it to hollow out. While feeding on the fruit, the larvae thrusts its head inside the fruit and leaves its body on the outside. In fact, a single larva can destroy 2 to 8 fruits. To control the larva of the spot borers, use 1 ml of belt expert in 1 litre of water. You can also use 1.5 to 2 ml of either Plethora or Cygna insecticides mixed in a litre of water. Next, we have tobacco caterpillars in tomato that feeds on the economical part or the fruit of the plant. In the early stages, these caterpillars are gregarious and scrape the chlorophyll content of the leaf lamina, creating a papery white appearance. Further, irregular patches appear, resulting in the slow skeletonization of the leaves, leaving only veins and petioles. Later, the caterpillars become voracious feeders, making irregular holes on the leaves and fruits. To get rid of tobacco caterpillars in tomato, use 1 to 1.5 ml of Sumi Pleo or 1.5 to 2 ml of Plethora mixed in 1 litre of water. Another pest that you need to watch out for during the fruiting stages are root knot nematodes. These infest the plant roots causing root knot galls and stunted growth of the roots. 
Further, they drain the photosynthate and nutrients of the plants, resulting in the inability of the roots to uptake nutrients and water through the vascular bundles, resulting in the death of the plant. To control root knot nematodes, use 250 to 500 ml of vellum prime per acre. You can also use 2 to 3 kgs of Pesiliomyces and Trichoderma each in 1 ton of FYM or farmyard manure. Remember to leave this mixture in shade for 15 days with adequate moisture to aid the multiplication of the beneficial microbes. You can use this mixture before transplanting the tomato seedlings. Alternatively, if you wish to avoid the use of chemicals, you can use traps and lures. For instance, you can use 10 to 12 wedge fly lures and traps per acre. For Tuta absoluta, use 12 to 15 pinworm lures per acre. You can also use 8 to 10 sawtooth traps per acre or 120 to 150 sticky traps, both blue and yellow per acre. Sticky traps are ideal for controlling sucking pests like thrips, mites, aphids, white flies and jacids. Here you have it friends, watch out for these pests and keep them away from your tomato plants for a healthy harvest. We hope this video was informative and helpful. For more such videos, visit kisanvedika.bigheart.com. If you have any queries, reach out to us on our toll-free number 1-800-3000-2434. Our agri-experts will be happy to help you. For purchasing the products mentioned in this video, visit bigheart.com. Don't forget to like, share and subscribe. Until next time, happy farming.